Hello, my name is Chien and welcome back to the ASP.NET MVC and Entity Framework Learning by Example Project and project is Chien VS Shop. Okay, so today we will continue with the day 12. We will, uh, we will temporarily stop working with the code. So today we will working with the stasis for shopping cart bed. So let's get started now. Open the product bed and we add the uh, product into the shopping cart. Okay, you can see here the style sheet of this shopping cart, it looks not good for now. So today I will show you how to write the style sheet for this table, this hyperlink and also this button to make, to make it look better. Okay, so let's open the Visual Studio shortcode. And now I will open the view in the index view and I also open the style sheet in the style.css okay so fully I open the layout main layout first and I will see the parent class it is the main content main content is the parent class of the render body ok so now I will so we should add something it normally first for the table this should be border corner so add for the TST Okay, let's open this and try to clear the cake and refract it. Okay, so you can see here the border of table already changed. Okay, so let's open the debug mode. Here we have the deep main content. And after that we have table here. I will go ahead to re remove the border equal one in the hard code. Okay, and now I will name it with a class the shopping cart. Okay, so we will set I for the table, the quantity, the hyperlink, and the update chart. Update chart. I will add some class name for them. Now we will work with the. I also add for delete. Okay, so delete we we will write the code for razor. So this one we will the shopping, and the next one is. Here, we will delete it. I should link the product. This one, new. Don't. 
This one is a summary button, so we need it in that. And also the quantity, mm, quantity, uh, is it ID quantity? Okay. Uh, also, we should format the price because we have forgotten to do it in the previous video uh, for now it still look good because the the, the, the price of each product is not here so after that when we increase the, 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 the price to a bigger so it will look not good Okay, just format the string for it to look it display better. Okay, so now the quantity. Okay, I think that's all. So now try to refresh the page. Okay. To see it, we have the Clarity Continue Shopping update quantity. Okay, so now I will format the the, the label for table header. I will. Open this one shopping cart. Open the style, and we can scroll down. It is under the main content. And there is main content shopping cart. There is a shopping cart. Yeah, copy. It. Yet. We have background color. It should be. I will choose some example. You can change it here. Okay, and color it should be white to make it consistent. Okay, and now we will work with the quantity. Quantity is the try of um, shopping cart, so I will. Quantity is the ID, so we will we will write the code for it. The firstly, I will make the text box is smaller around fifty percent, and the border. But uh, I need one feet solid and uh, take a lot of center. Okay, it look better. Now I will the right style for delete hyperlink here and we have just 
name it is uh, delete shopping copy it if e clad copy so I will change the color color to black the text equation is none when you will hover to the delete the delete link so we will change the style hover it is color no color is orange or something like that take the correction is underline yeah okay and now we will write a style for continue shopping the continue shopping is e out of the table so it is a it is a try of main content mm. yeah below table same thing for update shopping main content is e continue Shopping. The color. Okay. I will change the text equation in the none. By color, color, I will copy it here. We should have a padding then which shell the color should be white. Okay, we copy each same thing for update shopping. Update shopping. However, you can see here the update shopping it have some border because there is a button and and continue shopping there is the hyperlink. So we can delete this one. No need equation. The color okay. The padding. Padding a bit. Just remove it. Padding. Top, it should be pixel. Right should be twelve pixel. Bottom it should be ten pixel. And left it pixel. And border it should be none. Okay, it looks the same. It looks the same here. I will copy it into the style.cf file. Scroll to end. You can press the control KD to do the format. Try to refresh this. Okay, it look better, and now we should write a style sheet for total number. Total number we back to the 
Tata. Yeah, TD. So we should name it the class. Should be the total. Okay, so we have it is uh, in shopping cart. We should name either um, text information. Should be upper case. Okay, and the color it should be red. Same thing. Is this okay? So take a bow I, I, I don't remember the style to make it about here okay so I will try to set it Okay, so network is not good for now, so let it by default. Copy it. Continue shopping, shopping cart. Okay. Okay. From wet, from wet, okay. From wet, okay. It looks better for now. Okay, so I think that's all for today. And after you finish it, the uh, Today, so you know how to try the stasis for shopping pet, and I think that's one the basic tutorial. And hope you can be on that to improve the the, the, the product. Okay, so see you in, in another tutorial, and feel free to let me know if you have any question. Bye bye.